Okay, this is going to be a combination between a tutorial on how to clone a hard drive using Parted Magic or P Magic, that's what I'll be calling it, or Clonezilla. If you're using P Magic, it, it comes with Clonezilla included inside the operating system. Um, a combination between a tutorial on how to clone a hard drive and also how to work around this error. If you're using Clonezilla and you're getting this error right here, I'll show you how to work around this. First thing, uh, Clonezilla and P Magic or Parted Magic are live operating systems, Linux, op Linux operating systems, and uh, to get them, just Google Clonezilla, for example. And right here, clonezilla.org under downloads. If you look on this page, this is where you can get Clonezilla and PMagic. Just Google part parted magic. And right here, downloads. And right here is the download right here. So that's how you can get those. Uh, burn them onto a disk or a USB flash drive and just boot into them. So let's go ahead and get started. So once you boot up your parted magic disk, just go ahead and select this default settings, 32 runs from RAM, and hit enter. I should have probably mentioned this before, but the catch is you have to be cloning from the hard drive that you're cloning to has to be equal to or larger in size than the source drive. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. The first part is going to be a description on this error and how it comes up. So let's go into Clonezilla. And right here, we're going to select device to device. And I'm going to select the beginner mode. Disk to local disk. And the source drive, SDA for myself. And the target drive, SDB, for myself. Your hard drives will depend on how on your configuration. So, um, and then on this part, skip checking repairing source file system. Hit enter, enter. The existing data in this hard disk partitions will be overwritten. All existing data will be lost on SDB. Do I want to continue? Yes. That's the exact same warning. Everything will be overwritten on SDB. Yes, I want to continue. Do you want to clone the bootloader onto SDB? Yes. We will now start clone data to the target machine. Yes. Okay, and we're starting here. Right up here, you will see the error pop up. XTFS clone bitmap free count error right here. Failed to clone. Okay. That was that error that we were talking about earlier, this one right here. If you are getting this error, I'm going to show you how to work around that. So let's go ahead and hit enter so we can exit this program. Now the actual tutorial is going to begin. How to clone from one hard drive to another hard drive equal to or larger in size. That is the target drive. The source drive has to be equal to or smaller than the target drive. So let's go ahead and begin disk cloning to enter clonezilla and we're going to go with device to device beginner mode 
disk to local disk. <laughs> and our source drive SDA for myself. Yours will depend on your configuration. Choose local disk as target, SDB for me. And on this menu right here, you have to select FSCK SRC part. It says interactively check and repair source file system before cloning. Select that. Then hit enter. And hit enter once more. Okay, the existing data in this hard disk partition will be overwritten. All existing data will be lost for SDB, the target drive. There's nothing on there anyways, but do you want to continue? Yes. Okay, right now it's doing the system check and repair on the source drive. And this right here I'm not even going to pretend to try to know. <laughs> I'm not even going to pretend that I know what this means. I have no idea what this means. But right here, it says fix, and it says yes or why, question mark. So if, do you want to fix it? Yes. Why? And then some more errors. Fix. Why? <coughs> um, the same warning. Everything will be overwritten on the target drive. Do you want to continue? Yes. Do you want to clone the bootloader from the, from the source drive to the target drive? Yes. And the process will now begin. Do you want to continue? Yes. And as you can see, no error. And the cloning process has begun. Alright, the cloning is complete, so I'm going to go ahead and shut this down. And I'm going to remove the source drive and just leave the target drive attached so that we can boot into the system and make sure it loads properly. And there you go. That's how you clone using Clonezilla or PMagic from one hard drive to another and how to work around this error right here so rate comment subscribe thanks for watching the video and hopefully I'll see you guys in another tutorial